What's up guys, it's Sam back here, and today I'm going to be doing my second New York Toy Fair 2015 analysis video. This time I'm going to be covering the Halo line. Uh, this has been one of the better lines this, uh, that has been released in New York Toy Fair this year. Uh, I'm really pumped about it. We get to see Halo 5 sets, we get to see, uh, get some Reach figures, we get uh, figures from across the whole universe of Halo, and just it's a really great wave this time. <clears throat> I can't wait to get right into it. Before we get started, uh, one thing I'd like to mention is that we just reached 800 subscribers, which is another uh, milestone that I had set, or another goal that I had set. Like last week, we just had hit 750. This week, we 800. We're just going real fast now. So thank you guys so much for that. I think right now we're at 833, so we're almost at 850. We're getting really close to that 1,000 subscribers mark, so can't wait to get there. But yeah, so uh, let's just jump in right into the review. So for the first set we got here, this is the Vulture. So it is making a comeback in Halo 5, I guess, because uh, the figures we got here, one spe super special figure here is Agent Locke. Uh, he's going to be a really big character in Halo 5, so it's really awesome to get him. This is going to be, I think a lot of us are just going to buy the set just for Agent Locke. He's going to be a huge role. We don't know too much about the game or the storyline or anything that's going to happen yet, but what we do know is that uh, <clears throat> Agent Locke will be hunting Master Chief, and he's going to be a really uh, big character in this, uh, in the story for Halo 5. So it's so awesome to get him. His figure does look absolutely perfect. It just uh, the legs are a little bit don't look too much like Agent Locke to me, but the the torso, the shoulders, and the head mold all look absolutely amazing. I I really couldn't have asked for uh, better from Mega Bloks. They did a really good job on this. Uh, they did give us two other figures. I think that from what I can tell, this is a uh, covert type of enforcer that we see here. He is holding a new weapon. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's a Halo 5 weapon, but. I, I can't really tell. I don't really have a name for it or anything as of yet. Uh, over here, I, I, I can pretty much tell that this is a, a pilot, a UNSC pilot, uh, in the sandish green type of color. Uh, but Agent Locke, I think, is going to be... He, he just looks so good. I can't wait to get my hands on him. Uh, and that's not even the whole set. That is just the figures. The set itself, the Vulture, looks really, really good. Uh, the last time we seen this was in Halo Wars, I think. I could be wrong on that, uh, but I'm pretty sure it was in Halo Wars. Uh, it did look slightly different in Halo Wars. There were these, I'm pretty sure there was uh, these like rocket uh, uh, or missiles type things, kind of like a like the missiles on a submarine uh, uh, on the top of the on the top of the vehicle. But I could be mistaken on that. Maybe it's just a different variant. But uh, this. Uh, Agent Lock is in this set, so this is going to be from Halo 5. It does look really good, as you can see on the top here. We got some turrets, they uh, turrets or missiles, whatever they are. Uh, they do look really good. The ship is very big, and I'm guessing we do have an interior hull and place to put figures. So the next sets that we see here are the Halo Metallic ODSC drop pods for this wave. Uh, we have gotten these before. This is, doesn't seem like a very big news to most of you guys, probably, but to me it really is, uh, as ODSTs are my favorite type of armor uh, in the Halo line. But uh, another big uh, thing about this was that the Halo ODST uh, Metallic Drop Pod series was supposed to end and be replaced with the Metallic uh, Cryotube series, which would give us more Spartans and Metallic uh, paint applications, but that was ended, uh, I guess uh, it was cancelled because this year they showed up and uh, they are displaying more ODST Drop Pods, which I think is great because uh, I think we get way too many Spartans as, as it is. We get them in almost every set, there's you no know, customization packs, there's just so much for Spartans that we have um, already out there, but it is really great to see more ODSTs. And they are my favorite type of armor, so I am a little bit biased to that. But starting off with the ODSTs, the, the first one we get here is in a metallic green paint application. This one does look really good, but uh, when in the first wave of the metallic uh, ODST drop pods, we did already get a green one. This one is slightly different, uh, different as that one was uh, in a lighter green, uh, tone of green. This one is in a way darker tone of green. It does look really good. It's still metallic, but uh, I think the figure just does look way better in the, <coughs> in the darker uh, green color. Uh, he is holding a Spartan uh, laser right here, which does look really good, but this one's not too special. Uh, the next one over here is an Arctic ODST. This one is pretty similar to the last, <coughs> uh, or the first wave of metallic ODST drop pods, uh, as there was a silver one. That one was not in white, but it was in silver, which is very uh, similar to white. It did look a lot like this figure, but that one, as with the green one, were not in the interchangeable armor system, as these ones are, but... Uh, this white one does look really good. Uh, I really like the... Uh, actually, the one thing I don't like about this figure is that the teeth marking going around the ODSTs that we get in all of these metallic uh, drop pod series, uh, they do kind of blend in with the helmet, so it doesn't look like they're actually there. 
uh, I don't know, I kind of would have preferred that in like a black color or something that would have stand stood out a little bit more. But other than that, the figure does look really good. Uh, he is holding a rocket launcher right here, and uh, if I haven't mentioned that before, the green one is holding a Spartan laser. Uh, on to the next one, this is probably my favorite ODST metallic drop pod series that we've gotten so far. Uh, this one comes in a black color. It looks really, really good. I really like getting uh, more Spartans and soldiers, marines, and ODSTs all in darker colors. I think the darker color does look way more realistic than uh, the regular colors that we get, like uh, light green and red and stuff like that. I do really like the ones in black. I think that looks a lot better. Uh, but this one looks really good. He's holding a metallic silver saw rifle right there. Uh, and uh, the white uh, teeth marks go around, uh, going around his helmet do stand out a lot, which looks really good. We can't see too much of the detail of the armors itself, but we all I think we all do know what an ODST armor does look like, so we can pretty much imagine what it will look like up close in our own hands. But yeah, this one is probably my favorite one so far. I'm really I really like this one. But the next uh, metallic drop pod we get here, not an ODST, this time is Elite. This one is very very special. Uh, this one. Uh, is uh, if you guys haven't noticed already, the elites are now in an interchangeable armor system, which means their helmets, their torsos, their shoulders, and their thigh plates, uh, oh, and, if, if, uh, and their hip plates can all be removed and be interchanged with other elites. So this is really big for the elites. I I really hope Megaloss continues to span this over other species, such as like the Forerunners, uh, such uh, or the Brutes, or just any other uh, the other races across the Halo universe. But uh, we are getting more elites, <coughs> more interchangeable armors. Uh, uh, figures now with uh, these elites. The elites do look really, really good in this interchangeable armor system. I really like how they look. It didn't take away from the look of them at all. They look uh, just as good as they were before, but now they are customizable. Uh, but yeah, they look really, really good. This one here is in metallic blue uh, paint and he, uh, paint application, and he is holding a needler. It does. It just looks really, really nice. Definitely going to be picking this one up, as I'm going to be trying getting as many of these elites as I can. As uh, you guys are probably going to be doing the same thing. These elites just look really good this year. But yeah, so there is my look at the Metallics ODST drop pods. And the next sets we see here are the new customization packs. The one on the top is just uh, the old uh, New York, New Mombasa Police Department uh, customizer pack that's already been released. So a lot of you guys can pick that up now. But uh, this one on the bottom is new. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be containing an Elite and a Jackal, it probably will. But this is a Covenant customization pack. Uh, this one does look really cool. We're getting these new uh, Covenant type crates, which look way better than the UNSC ones. They look really cool. We're getting a, a huge uh, assortment of weapons. A lot of them are in painted, uh, uh, are in different paint applications, but some of them are just in the, the regular uh, purple that we get with the Covenant sets. I do like to see that we're getting more of these Halo 4 style to energy swords, which do look really, really good. We are getting another Elite now in the interchangeable armor system, which looks even better than the last one, I must say, because it is in the uh, navy blue type of color, which is just like a regular trooper, I guess. But the Jackal is not in the new interchangeable armor system, pretty much the same thing as we get last time uh, that we have been getting for the past few years, the Storm Jackal. But he does have, uh, they do come with a lot of weapons. We do get two Jackal shields, one in yellow, one in uh, blue. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not sure about... Uh, uh, in this image, it does not show any more armor for the Elite, but uh, as you all know, with the customization pack packs, we do get a lot of uh, extra armor pieces, so you can customize and change your figures how you want. And now that the Elites are in the new interchangeable armor system, I, I'm guessing that they will be giving us more helmets, more shoulders, and more torsos to uh, swap in with this Elite. But uh, it's not being shown in the image right here, but I'm guessing it will be included in the actual set. So there's my look at the first uh, customization pack. So the next set we see here is another customization pack. Up top we do have the regular Spartan customization pack that has already been released. Uh, but down below we do have a new one. This is containing two elites. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a Halo 5 uh, uh, set be um, or model around Halo 5. Because this orange weapon in the hand of the silver elite uh, right here, uh, I, I cannot recognize what that is. I have really have uh, I don't have any clue what that what that weapon is supposed to be. Maybe it's gonna be a new weapon in Halo 5. I'm not sure. But as I was, as I was saying before, with the interchangeable armor system, uh, as you can see in this set, it is not it's not showing any new uh, weapons or anything. They are just holding the regular two weapons. Uh, that the figures are holding, but they do have a uh, uh, for each figure they have two torsos or two sets of torsos, two sets of shoulder pads, and two sets of uh, helmets. So you can go between a regular elite, an orbital elite, and a zealot elite, uh, which I think is really really cool. Uh, if this is one set, I'm definitely going to be picking this up. More, getting more of these elites is just really cool. 
uh, and I especially like this one in the metallic silver color, as it is, as it is uh, in a metallic color, which is a lot better than the re regular uh, silver that we get. So uh, this set does look really cool. We get more of these uh, Covenant crates. It's nice to get more of those. They do look really, really cool. But yeah, I think this is going to be a Halo 5 set, uh, just based on that weapon. Uh, I'm, maybe that is a weapon in Halo 4. I, I, I could be mistaken, but from this angle, I can't really tell what that is. If I am mistaken, please let me know in the comments below. But uh, from what I can see so far right here, it does not look like anything that uh, that we've seen so far. Uh, on the other weapon, uh, on the other figure's weapon, uh, we do get another one of these Halo 4 uh, energy swords, which looks really cool. I can't wait to get more of those, as uh, it's only available in one set right now, which is in a mystery pack. But it's nice to get more and more uh, of those and going out with the old and in with the new. Uh, these, because these new ones do look a lot better than the old energy swords. But yeah, so there's my look at the second customization pack. So the next set that we see here is the new Mystery Pack uh, series for Halo this uh, this wave. Uh, I'm not sure the name of this one, I'm pretty sure it's going to be called Charlie, I could be mistaken on that. Uh, if I am, just let me know in the comments below. But uh, yeah, this one does look really good. We don't seem to be getting, um, getting too much as in new molds. Uh, this is just regular molds, uh, kind of new paint applications. But uh, starting with the left over here, we have a, a new Orbital Spartan. Uh, he's in a covert uh, gray, which looks really good, I really like that. Uh, uh, color the covert gray it does look really good. He has a red visor looking really good, but uh, uh, He's holding a SOCOM pistol right there. Uh, yeah, that's a silver SOCOM pistol right there uh, This figure just looks pretty normal. I'm guessing it's gonna be a regular common figure uh, next to him We have a, a UNSC pilot. Uh, I'm not too fond of these pilots I do think the tan on their uh, on the wrists and on their thighs does look a little bit strange uh, compared to the rest of the um, a scheme of this uh, color, but uh the figure does look really good. Um, he is holding another uh, gunmetal gray SOCOM pistol right there. Uh, but yeah, this figure does look really nice. Probably going to be another common figure in the line. Uh, the next figure we have uh, next to him is uh, pretty interesting as it is just a regular uh, Spartan Fred that we saw in the booster frame last wave uh, in the beginning of 2015. Uh, but this one is just uh, Spartan Fred in a new paint application. Uh, it's just he still has that same uh, shoulder plates with the wrist uh, with the uh, blades inside of them, but uh, he's just in orange this time, which does look really cool. I guess it's kind of interesting to see uh, that Fred armor used again. I do hope that you keep continue to use it because it does look really really good. Uh, I kind of wish there was more markings on his chest or something, as it does look a little bit flat and plain uh, around there and also around the visorish, but uh, visor area. But uh, it, other than that, it does look like a great figure. I think he's holding a. Sh uh, Halo Restyle shotgun there, uh, or it could be mistake, or it does look like a Halo Restyle shotgun in gunmetal gray. But uh, next to him, we get a really light blue. Uh, I can't tell if that's baby blue, uh, a baby blue colored um, uh, Spartan soldier there, uh, using a what I can uh, is a shotgun, just a regular shotgun. But uh, yeah, we just get a regular Spartan soldier here in the new uh, baby blue type color. I think this looks a little odd. I kind of hate it with Mega Bloks because these really bright colors, especially with this orange uh, Spartan Fred type thing. And then we get a blue uh, uh, Spartan soldier. I, I just think it looks a little weird and unrealistic to uh, Halo. But uh, I guess it is pretty cool. At least they put it into a, a mystery pack and not into any uh, major sets or anything. But I guess uh, these figures do look uh, nice as they are. Uh, next to that, we do have a Spartan, two Spartan Jackals. I'm not sure if these figures are both going to be in the uh, wave or they, or if they're just going to be putting one uh, jackal in there. Uh, but these ch uh, jackals are uh, are in semi-active camo, as their arms uh, or uh, as their arm and weapon uh, and head are all in active camo. But the rest of the figure is just in a regular uh, uh, plastic. But yeah, I'm I'm not sure. This is this would kind of be a little bit uh, cheap if we got both of these, as it would wouldn't be very original, I guess, getting two of the same figure in the same wave. But uh, yeah, these ones do look really nice. It's kind of cool to get these uh, half active camo figures. Uh, there's not very many uses for them, I guess. They just kind of look cool standing there. But yeah, then the next gummy bear uh, uh, figures that we get in this line are, are two Reach figures. From what I can tell uh, right here, this looks like a Spartan George uh, or a Grenadier helmet on a regular uh, UNSC uh, uh, reach type Spartan uh, torso piece and then uh, next to him we do get a meal just a regular old meal and uh, a translucent black type of uh uh, plastic there, which does look really good using his regular Halo Reach st uh, style uh, shotgun. He doesn't have the skull painting on. Uh, I guess that's pretty realistic, as it wouldn't be showing in the first place. But yeah, uh, that's w those are the gummy bear figures that we get, and also the uh, other gummy bear figure isn't a light green, which does look really cool. Uh, but uh, that pretty much does it for the Charlie series. I'm guessing it's Charlie. I actually don't know what it's called. Please let me know in the comments below. I'm pretty sure it's Charlie though, but I could be mistaken on that. So there's my look at the mystery packs.
One thing I forgot to mention that there are three more figures in this mystery pack line. Uh, over here we have another uh, uh, Grenadier type Spartan. Uh, this is exactly the same type of mold as the uh, translucent green gummy bear figure. Just uh, in, uh, not in the gummy bear uh, green type of plastic. It is uh, in regular plastic. As you can see he's in green here with some metallic silver uh, for his wrists and his boots. Uh, it does look like a really good figure. Pretty plain looking figure. Nothing too special. Next to him we do get another elite which is absolutely awesome. I really like seeing more and more of these elites. Uh, and this one will be a lot cheaper and a lot more available to everybody as it is in the uh, mystery pack line but this one is in red which is really good color I like to see that and it's in the interchangeable armor system it does look really really cool next to him we do get a, a uh, storm grunt uh, nothing too special about this guy he's in yellow kinda don't like the color on that it is a little bit too bright f just for my personal taste but other than that uh, it, that's our final look at, this, uh, at the mystery pack series for this one so the next set we got here is a Promethean Troop Pack. This one looks really, really cool. We do get another Promethean Knight, two Promethean Crawlers, and a Promethean Watcher. This set is probably going to be really uh, sell really well because we we're getting a lot more Promethean figures just in a, for a very low price. It's really, really cool. Uh, we get a new Promethean Knight. This, time is in a, this set is probably going to be around $16 or something, just like the regular Troop Packs. And we do get a Promethean Knight in this set, which is a really big deal. I really like how uh, Megabox is putting uh, major figures like this in small sets. That is really, really cool. Uh, and we get more uh, Promethean Crawlers and Promethean Watchers, so that is really, really nice. We do get, there's no new molds here, uh, as I can see so far. There's nothing really too special about it, uh, other than the fact that we are getting these figures for a really low price. But this set is going to be, uh, probably going to sell extremely, extremely well. I'm definitely going to pick up a few of these, because uh, these Promethean figures do look really good, and played a big part in Halo 4, and are probably going to play uh, an even bigger part in Halo 5. So it is nice to see more and more of these uh, type of figures, and I will be picking up a, probably a few of these, as I'm sure a lot of you guys will be doing too. Uh, starting with the Promethean Knight over here, he just uh, is just holding uh, a regular Promethean armor. Or er, actually, I think this one is uh, an old Promethean Knight. We have seen him in a set before. The one thing I'm not sure about is the light up feature. I'm not sure if. Uh, this one will have that feature where you can uh, or flick it or just uh, bounce it off the ground and it will start to flicker and have that glowing effect. Uh, I'm not sure if Mega Bloks will be doing that in this set. Uh, I Hopefully they don't. I wasn't too big of a fan of that feature. Uh, hopefully they just have the feature where they can put the uh, Watcher and place it into the back of the uh, Promethean Knight. That's, uh, uh, I thought that just was a lot better, uh, as I didn't really use the glowing feature all too much. I'm guessing uh, kids use that a lot more, but um, for someone my age, I didn't really uh, care for that all too much. The watchers do look cool, uh, a lot cooler. There, we do get two different variants, which I think is really cool. It would have been a lot bo uh, more boring to just get one variant of the watcher, or not watcher, sorry, crawlers, uh, but... The crawlers also do look nice. Uh, running through all of these, instead of the blue uh, translucent uh, color there, are using orange or red. Uh, from here, it does look like a reddish orange. I can't really tell uh, uh, from the uh, picture that I'm looking at right now, but uh, from, my, what I'm, from what I can tell, it does look like a reddish orange. Um, it would have been better to see in, a, in just like that regular orange that we've seen before, but this does look really nice. But uh, for the structure we get over here, we do get a Promethean type structure uh, using these translucent clip pieces to simulate floating objects, which does look really cool. It's nice to get those uh, pieces in trans uh, uh, those clip pieces in a translucent uh, mold now. It does look really really cool, and it's uh, hovering on a, a blue uh, forerunner stand right there. Uh, the terrain piece, uh, other than that, just looks like a pretty normal build, but yeah, this is a this looks like a really exciting troop pack, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. But uh, there's your look at. So the next set we got here is Fire Team Rhino. Uh, this is I'm kind of speculating on the name, but uh, as you can see on the flag up there, you can see a picture of a Rhino, and usually that's how the names of these Fire Teams do go. Whatever the sh whatever is shown on the picture of the flag is uh, also presumably the uh, presumably the name of the Fire Team. So I'm guessing this one is going to be called Fire Team Rhino, uh, but not a very special name or anything. But this uh, whole set to me is kind of a major major letdown. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but if you have seen my review or anybody else's review or the set in general of Fire Team Eagle, uh, this set is the exact same thing. It's just that they took the Fire Team Eagle figures and put them in a new uh, color scheme with the desert, uh, uh, with the desert look uh, in the tan right there, in the tan color for their armor. But other than that, the set is the exact same. They're, uh, they sell the exact same figures with the exact same uh, weapons, with the exception of uh, having an extra bull shot for uh, the enforcer there. But other than that, there's the exact same weapons, exact same everything. Uh, the hollow shield uh, uh, over there is in an orange color now, which is slightly different. And I do think the 
the walkway, the foreign walk, walkway, is in, a, is in a lighter blue than the last time we got in Fire Team Eagle. But other than that, the set is the exact same. The build, everything about it, is the exact same as last time, which is a huge disappointment uh, uh, from Mega Bloks. I mean, uh, if you're gonna give us a Fire Team, at least give us some new uh, uh, Spartans. Uh, and a new uh, terrain piece, and don't just copy the last set that you guys gave us. This is very uh, bland. I am guessing that they're going to change this, that this isn't the final uh, look of this set, that they probably just showed this up there just for New York Toy Fair, just to fill up some space. But I'm guessing that this, that this isn't the completed look of the set. Hopefully that that is the case, because if this is a completed set, this is a huge letdown. Because this set just kind of sucks, I guess. I mean, it's the exact same thing as Fire Team Eagle. It's not really worth picking up anyways, uh, if this is going to be the set, but... Unless you do really like the desert uh, tone, I guess, or color for the Spartans. But other than that, this set is a huge letdown. But yeah, so there's your look at Fire Team Rhino. And the next Fire Team we got here is Fire Team Rhino. I'm again, I'm presume, uh, I'm just taking a huge speculation on that name just based on the flag that we do see here. They are in a uh, type of dark or uh, dark greenish type color, uh, not too dark, kind of like a reg uh, in between the regular green and the dark green that we see in Mega Bloks. But yeah, this set is a lot better than the last one we saw, as it is an original set, and we haven't seen uh, this build or these figures, or we have seen these figures before, but uh, not in the same. Uh, Type of set that we've seen uh, like last time with Fire Team Eagle and Fire Team Rhino. That thing just uh, that was pretty bad. But uh, for these figures, there's nothing too special. I'm guessing uh, this one with the sniper rifle right here does look like a recruit Spartan to me. Uh, then right here, holding the Halo restyled uh, shotgun uh, and the target locator is a Enforcer Spartan. Nothing too uh, new about those. Then over here, holding uh, the new gun, which I do not know what that is as of yet, is a Spartan Soldier. Uh, I'm gonna take a huge guess on this gun. I'm just gonna say it's that. Uh, new grenade light uh, launcher type thing we saw in the Halo 5 uh, multiplayer beta, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't even know that I could be uh, so off on that, but it is a new uh, weapon mold, as we haven't seen that one before. But uh, there's nothing too special about the figure there other than that. Uh, over in the back here, using the saw uh, behind uh, the recruit Spartan, uh, I think we that is supposed to be a warrior, a warrior Spartan, Spartan Warrior, uh, which does look really good. Uh, I don't think we've seen uh, that type of Spartan armor in uh, in the interchangeable armor system as of yet, so it is nice to get uh, a new uh, Spartan warrior in this new interchangeable armor system. That is uh, that looks really really good. But other than that, this set does look pretty basic. The build over here that we get, we get a nice little terrain piece with the flag uh, showing the bull, I guess. Uh, but other than that. Uh, over here we get this, I don't really know what to call this, I'm guessing it's like a machine type turret. Uh, uh, I'm guessing that the turret does go down and then you can flip the lid open and the turret will pop out and I guess fire at your enemies. Uh, it does look like there's a control panel on the side there. But uh, yeah, it's nice to get a little uh, play feature I guess with your set like that. But other than that, there's nothing too special about the, this uh, set. Uh, it, it's a lot better than the last one we saw, as the last one was just a huge knockoff of the, uh, of the, uh, the last uh, wave of fire teams. Uh, but this one is an original set, at least. Uh, yeah, but this one, it, it does look really cool. It does also include uh, three uh, regular barrels right here, but that pretty much is it uh, for Fire Team Bull. I'm guessing that's the name, Bull, or something something of uh, that, like, because uh, it does have a picture of a bull for the flag. But yeah, so there's your look at Fire Team Bull. And our far final Fire Team for this wave is... Uh, I'm guessing fire, or I actually don't know the name of this one. The flag just has a UNSC logo, so I don't really know what to call this one. But uh, this one is another one of those knockoff ones that we uh, saw in Fire Team Rhino. This is the exact same thing as Fire Team Seer. I'm not even lying. The exact same build, the exact same figures. Everything is the exact same, just in a different color. The weapons we get are even the exact same. The turret is the exact same. Everything is the exact same. It's just. Uh, this is this better not be what uh, this, uh, what Mega Box is going to decide to put on uh, store shelves later in the summer. Be hopefully they do change this because this would be this would be a huge letdown by Mega Box. I mean they're just rehashing another set in a different color scheme. That's that's really that's really sad on their part. But hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully this is just a uh, just an early uh, release of the set and they haven't really completed uh, finishing it. So they just kind of took Fire Team Sierra and put it in a new. Uh, color scheme right there but uh, hopefully that is just the case but other than that this set is uh, nothing there's nothing really special about the set if you do want to see I, I guess I could uh, just take my fire team Sierra set repaint some of the figures and pieces and I get I would pretty much have this set uh, but yeah this is the exact same thing as fire team Sierra so I'm guessing a lot of you guys have already uh, owned fire team Sierra or have seen the review on it from me or from anybody else but 
So the set is nothing special uh, from what I can see so far. I'm, ve I'm very hopeful that this is uh, going to be changed because this is uh, really bad so far. I mean, we're getting two knockoff fire teams. The other two fire teams, we get one okay fire team, and we're getting a really nice fire team with the new uh, Promethean fire team. But still, this one is just a huge letdown, just like the fire team Rhino, but hopefully this is not the case. But yeah, so there's your look at our final fire team. So the next set we got here is another large set for this wave. Uh, this is a UNSC tank. I, it could be a, a new variant of the Scorpion, but uh, to me it just doesn't look that much like the Scorpion. I, I could be wrong on that. I'm kind of just speculating right now. But uh, uh, to me, I think it's going to be a new type of tank uh, that we're going to be seeing in Halo 5. Uh, but uh, I guess this could be a new variant of the Scorpion. Uh, maybe I'm wrong on that. We just don't ha really have too much information about Halo 5 as of right now to know too much about this set. But this set as a whole does uh, does look really cool. It is a lot smaller than I thought it would be originally when I first saw this picture. I was a uh, uh, when I heard we were first getting a tank. I was expecting to be a little bit larger than this. But uh, this uh, tank or uh, tank does look really really cool um just piloting the tank uh, and meaning that little machine gun at the front uh is a new uh gunganeer spartan in a really bright red uh, uh, uh color uh, with a white stripe going down his helmet uh that figure uh, i think could have probably should have been changed it does stand out a little bit too much in my opinion it just doesn't really fit in with the whole scene uh i would have preferred to get another uh figure like that spartan we see down there in that covert op uh color uh, that figure, by the way, uh, I could be wrong on this, but uh, I think that figure could be uh, one of the Spartans that we saw in the Halo 2 anniversary trailer when uh, Agent Locke and the Arbiter were on, uh, were you know, talking to each other about uh, the Master Chief, and we do see some Spartans with uh, some green and pink uh, neon type visors. I'm guessing that uh, this Spartan is one of those uh, Spartans that is uh, kind of like uh, Agent Locke's personal own squad, I guess, for hunting down Master Chief. Uh, I'm just speculating on all of that. I, we do not know too much about Halo 5 yet, uh, to know too much about uh, these Spartans as of yet, but I just think that uh, one gun in your Spartan does kind of doesn't really fit in with the whole uh, look of the whole set. But uh, the last figure that we do get in set is another Elite, which is super, super awesome. Uh, and, uh, <coughs> it, is, it is also in the new interchangeable armor system, and it is using a turret right there. Uh, kind of outmatched compared to this tank, but uh, it is uh, it is nice to get a little enemy to fight uh, with this set. But uh, the tank does look really, really cool. I really like how the nozzle looks. It, it's in a metallic silver type uh, paint application. Uh, the the treads are all angled slightly, which uh, I guess does mean uh, it could go over terrain and kind of have like a suspension system almost like that, that we do see in the Warthogs, uh, a lot of that. Uh, so I guess, I'm guessing that we will be getting like a suspension system with this set. Uh, but yeah, this tank does look really cool. It's a little small, I guess, but uh, I mean, what do you guys want? I mean, this uh, set does look really, really cool, and we're getting some pretty good figures. This set is not, uh, it's nothing too special, but it is nice to get a tank. But yeah, so there's my look at the UNSC tank. Now on to the Cyclopses. Uh, to start off with the Cyclopses, uh, just before I look into this specific one, I think these Cyclopses are getting way too old. I think Mega Bloxers stopped putting their budget into these Cyclopses uh, and just put them into anything else, giving us more sets, creating more uh, army builders, I guess, or something like that. Because I don't even think anybody really enjoys these. I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of these at all. I kind of, kind of getting annoyed with these uh, continually getting new and new variants of Cyclopses that. Nobody uh, that I don't really uh, like all too much. I'm guessing a lot of you guys are feeling the same way. Uh, maybe there are a few uh, that do like the Cyclops and do enjoy this, uh, but uh, my personal opinion, I don't really like this uh, all too much. But uh, this specific Cyclops that we see here is a new flood invasion uh, or a flood infected type Cyclops. Uh, we never really saw this in the game, seeing vehicles being uh, infected by the flood. But last year we did uh, see uh, a set called Flood Invasion. Uh, that had a ghost that was infected by the flood and had a flood uh, type uh, tentacles and stuff like that going us uh, like reaching off the vehicle uh, and that they did go go through uh, 343 and uh, uh, and everything my boss did uh, re uh, contact them and make sure that all did make sense and everything so uh, and 343 did approve so it is really cool to get uh, this type of uh, flood vehicle I guess it is a lot more original than the other Cyclopses that we do see and uh, also we get another marine uh, that has uh, been infected by the flood and he does look really really cool I'm, I'm really liking his head mold right there it does look uh, really strange and just uh, nasty looking I guess but uh, the whole like color tone and everything of this Cyclops does look really uh, damaged it does look like the desert Cyclops just infected now that's pretty much what it looks like to me the whole armor of the thing uh, it does not have any weapons uh, 
it just has one uh, gigantic arm that is, I guess, like a FUD infected arm, and uh, then there's other FUD parts uh, uh, reaching off it uh, from the chest right there and on top of the shoulder uh, on the right of or on the left of the Cyclops. But yeah, other than that, the set looks uh, pretty cool. I guess it's a uh, it's an original looking Cyclops, better than what we usually get. But still, I am kind of getting sick of these Cyclopses. But yeah, so there's your FUD infected Cyclops. For our next Cyclops here, uh, this is just pretty much why I hate Cyclopses. I don't really understand the point of this set. It's just it's such a tacky looking vehicle. It's just it's uh, in silver with a bunch of uh, reddish orange, very bright looking vehicle. It looks really weird. I'm not even sure, if it's sure of the purpose of this one. This one to me looks like an excavating or digging type of Cyclops, which uh, would pretty much be pointless. Uh, this looks like a pretty civilian type Cyclops that I don't really like the whole theme of Cyclops is to begin with and this one is just probably one of the worst we've seen so far it has a uh, maybe a digging a driller or a flamethrower I can't really tell what that is but uh, that's like uh, that uh, weapon on its uh, right arm or uh, on its right arm yes does uh, have a tube going to the back of the uh, back of the Cyclops which I, I'm guessing would limit the movement of the whole thing but other than that, it does look pretty cool. Uh, or not actually pretty cool, it does look pretty uh, bad. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But uh, on his left arm there, he does have like a grabber, uh, which is another reason why I'm speculating that this is going to be like a excavating or digging type Cyclops or for mining or something like that. But uh, the one cool thing about this set is the figure. I kind of do I have to admit that figure does look pretty cool with this uh, metallic silver with uh, the bright uh, orangish red. But I don't know why it does look pretty tacky. But it uh, I don't know why I just really like how that figure looks. It does look really cool in my opinion. But uh, it uh, nonetheless it does look pretty tacky, just like the Cyclops itself. And on the side there, as you can see, for a weapon, he is using a, a shovel, I can see, or a spade right there. Uh, and he does have an axe and a pickaxe uh, right there. So that's why I'm kind of speculating this is from mining and just civilian type stuff, which is pretty dumb in my opinion. I don't really see why Megalox is giving us sets for more civilian things. I would rather uh, seen the money for, or the budget for this set go into something else, like anything else, maybe like uh, more vehicles, more anything, but uh, or more stuff from Halo 5. But uh, yeah, I think this set was pretty much pointless. I doubt a lot of people are going to buy this. Uh, if you are a fan of Cyclopses, this is probably great for you, but I am just not. I kind of don't uh, don't appreciate how Mega Bloss gives us this many Cyclopses. It's kind of getting a little bit ridiculous. Uh, I kind of hope they just end it with uh, this wave and hopefully we won't see them until a long uh, until a little, until a later time. But yeah, this is uh, I don't really know what to call a Cyclops. I'm guessing this is like the Mining Cyclops or something. But uh, yeah, so there's my look at the Mining Cyclops. So for this next set, we just have, I don't even, I don't even have words for this set, this set looks absolutely amazing. I can't believe Megablox is giving us the Master Chief and the Arbor in the same set, also with an amazing uh, looking Gosshog, which could be this, the best Gosshog slash Warthog that we've gotten in all the years past, but this set just looks absolutely amazing. It's probably going to be around like $20 if you get two major figures and an amazing vehicle uh, just for that price point. But that this set is just really, really good. Megabox does have his really, really bad low points, but when it does have his high points, they are very high. This is a really great set. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Megabox. Can't wait to get my hands on this set. Uh, but uh, for the figures so far over here, we got the Arbiter and the Master Chief. Uh, the Arbiter is using a t kind of dark purplish... Uh, uh, new Halo 4 energy sword. Uh, one thing I kind of would have liked to see in this set would have been the Prophet's Bane that we saw in, uh, that is going to be introduced in Halo 5 and that we did see in the Halo 5 multiplayer beta uh, is the Arbiter's signature uh, energy sword. This kind of like his customized uh, private version of that. But uh, nonetheless, this set, uh, the figure just, just looks really, really cool. It would have been nice to get that Prophet Spain, but the figure looks really, really nice. It is also in the new interchangeable armor system. It looks really, really accurate to the game. We've already seen this guy. Uh, these, we've already seen the Arbiter in the Halo 2 anniversary cutscenes, uh, the opening cutscene and the ending cutscene. We have already seen uh, uh, the Arbiter. But uh, so, yeah, so for one arm over there, he is... Uh, it does have the armor going down. The other one, one is sleeveless, uh, which does look uh, really look does look really cool. Uh, the whole armor system, uh, armor uh, color is in gold. Or to me, it looks like a yellow. I kind of would have preferred that in a metallic uh, with a metallic flake to give that more gold vibe. But uh, still, nonetheless, this figure does look really really cool. The headpiece is just looks really good. It looks really accurate to what it was in the game. Uh, and the chest piece does look really nice as well. So does the legs and the thighs. This figure is just absolutely amazing. I'm 
uh, I would definitely recommend this set, and I haven't even got my hands on it, but I'm, uh, I'm guessing a lot of you guys will be picking this one up, as it does come with the Arbor and a new Master Chief. This Master Chief looks really good. It's in a new metallic green color that we did see in like the polybag type uh, uh, set that was uh, uh, released a little while ago. This one, I, uh, from what I can see so far, does not have the scar uh, that he has on his chest plate. Uh, it doesn't have that painting, which is a little bit inaccurate, but nonetheless, this figure looks really, really cool. I really like how they're going with a darker type of green uh, with this figure, and it's also in that uh, metallic green type color, which just looks really, really nice. This set, uh, with just two figures, is just uh, this could be one of the best sets that we've seen this wave. It is really, really cool. Uh, not even including the figures, this uh, goss, uh, goss hog that we see here is really, really nice. I, I really like the color for it. Um, as you guys know, I do like the... I do appreciate more dark colors for uh, our vehicles and for our marines and soldiers, but uh, this uh, goss hog does look really nice in the black with the yellow accenting it. Uh, it just looks really cool. This could be the best goss hog we've gotten yet, or my favorite at least, but... Uh, yeah, it does have the rail guards on the front. Uh, has like a, uh, some yellow pieces going down the uh, middle of the hood uh, right there, and they do, uh, the yellow pieces do come around uh, on the back and on the sides and on the main uh, Goss cannon part of the vehicle. Uh, but yeah, this uh, Goss hog looks really really cool. Probably does have that. It does have uh, the regular type Goss hog build or Warthog build that we have seen before, but. Uh, with the suspension and all that, but this set is just really, really cool. Uh, not just for the figures, for the vehicle itself, for everything. This set is just going to be a 10 out of 10 set. Can't wait to get my hands on it. This is going to be really, really cool, and I'm really excited for this one. These figures are just really perfect. We get the Arbiter and the Master Chief in a small set together. This is going to be really, really cool. But yeah, so there's my look at the Goss Hog for this wave. The next set we see here is also a really, really good set. Uh, I'm guessing this one's going to be from Halo 5. Uh, this one is a new type of ghost that we are getting. The ghost uh, itself does look pretty different from the last one that we got. I think uh, was in the Flood Invasion. That one was in infected form, but that was the same build as the, the one that we saw in 2013, I think. Uh, but yeah, this ghost has been changed. The wing uh, uh, outlets on sides are, are a completely new build. So is the back of the vehicle and the front. Uh, I kind of don't like how they're going back to that regular purple. It does look a little off to me. I kind of wish they stuck with the uh, more indigo uh, type pr purple color that they had last time. That was more metallic looking. But uh, this one does look really nice. The one special thing about this set... Uh, uh, not even just for the uh, actual vehicle, but the figure. This figure is not just an, uh, re any regular old elite. This is a named character. This is Jewel Madama, the character that we saw in the Spec Ops mission. Or, uh, yeah, the Spec Ops mission, I think it was for Halo 4. Yeah, I think that's where he was. At. He's a pretty uh, big character uh, in, um, in Halo 4 in the, uh, afterwards, uh, the continued uh, storyline from Halo 4. But yeah, Jewel Madama, he's a really big character. Uh, but uh, and they uh, portrayed him really well in this action for er, micro action figure form. Uh, he does have his own unique type of armor uh, settings that's kind of different from the other elites that we see. Uh, but he is using the same interchangeable armor system. His chest plate does look a little bit different to me than uh, than the other elites. I'm guessing it's a little different. His head his head plate for sure does uh, is a lot different. Does have that uh, that signature uh, helmet piece with the. The, it looks almost like an energy sword on his head kind of thing, but they do, they do have that uh, painted onto his head. Uh, and then his shoulder plates do look a little bit different than we saw on the other elites. It's kind of more uh, spiky and going upwards. looks a little bit better than the other ones. He is holding a Halo 4 type energy sword there, which is uh, really awesome to see. Can't wait to get more and more and more of those. But this set uh, is probably going to be around $10, and it would be great to go against, I don't know, the Goss Hog from Halo 5, I guess, that we just covered uh, a couple minutes ago. But this uh, set... Is definitely going to be picked up a lot. Uh, I'm definitely definitely going to buy uh, another one of the uh, uh, multiples of these because I do really like the ghost vehicle, and we just get a named character in a ten dollar set. I really like it when Mega Box give us uh, named characters in these small sets, as they as they are doing more and more frequently, and I uh, I really like how they're doing that now. But oh uh, yeah, this set is really cool, and uh, yeah, so there's my look at the ghost for this wave. And for our next set here, we do have the UNSC Gun Goose, which was introduced in Halo 2 Anniversary. Uh, this set looks pretty cool. I mean, I was pretty hyped about getting a Gun Goose. That would uh, complete change of the Gun Goose, or the Mongoose. I mean, it was a pretty uh, big uh, step right there, but 
Uh, this vehicle is really, really cool in the games, and I really uh, was hyped about how Mega Bloks would portray it in blocks uh, in a construction set form. Um, I did see a custom version from Jangbricks. Uh, his version looked really, 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 really good. I was uh, super hyped about how Mega Bloks could uh, maybe improve on that or get, make their own version. But seeing what we got here, I am kind of disappointed with, with uh, what Mega Bloks uh, could come up with. Uh, I think the Gungoose itself right here is a little bit too top heavy or uh, front heavy. I mean. Uh, I think the guns on the front do go way too high and uh, are stretched way too far outwards and uh, just look way too bulky on the front of the vehicle than what is at, what, than what is at, then sorry about that uh, than what it is actually like in the game uh, but yeah this vehicle I think was a little bit kind of a miss right here for Mega Bloks the vehicle it looks uh, from the back is the pretty much identical to the mongoose that we saw last year the vehicle itself is pretty much identical to the front uh, the one thing they had to change they kind of I think they kind of did they just mess up on. Uh, the guns are way too large in my opinion. I think they go up way too high. I mean, the Spartan figure is going to have to stand up just to see, uh, just to have a clear uh, field of vision over the whole vehicle. Uh, and then the other thing, by the way, the figure is a, this is a Halo Reach type figure as we can see his armor set and the uh, weapon he's holding. Uh, he does have that Reach type armor set with the uh, combat knife uh, molded into the chest plate right there. And he does have a reach styled uh, helmet piece as well. Uh, in his hand he does have a reach style assault rifle so this does all indicate that this uh, set is depicting the scene from Halo Reach, uh, not nothing from Halo 5 or Halo 2 Anniversary, but uh, uh, nonetheless this figure does look pretty cool. I kind of wish this figure did come in a white uh, armor set to match the vehicle so because this vehicle is in like an arctic uh, setting I'm guessing that's why it is in white but the figure is uh, in, a, in a dark black uh, uh, armor set, which doesn't, which just doesn't really make much sense. Uh, I kind of wish they went with a black vehicle than a black uh, figure, so that would just look really cool. Because I do really appreciate when Mega Bloks gives us darker, uh, darker armor sets for the Spartans. But uh, nonetheless, this figure does look really cool. Uh, I am kind of disappointed with how this uh, Gun Goose did turn out, but uh, uh, Mega Bloks has given us a lot better. Uh, has stepped up their game in other areas such as the Halo 5 sets uh, like the tank, uh, the uh, vulture, all the other stuff. So this is kind of like a minuscule uh, type of problem but nothing too large. Uh, this set does look uh, pretty good. I'm kind of nitpicking right here saying the front does look a little bit too big but other than that this set does look really cool. Uh, so yeah there's my look at the Gun Goose. So the next set we see here is just I don't even know. This set is just amazing. Uh, this set is a Promethean vehicle. We haven't seen any Promethean vehicles as of yet in the Halo series, and for Halo 5, some major, major news. Uh, this uh, this kind of confirms that we will, that we will be seeing uh, maybe some uh, Promethean kind of fighter jets and Promethean type soldiers that aren't Promethean knights, uh, more humanoid looking Prometheans, as you can see in the figures right here. This uh, Promethean figure just looks really, really cool. I don't think he's using an interchangeable armor system as his arms uh, do not have any, uh, or his shoulders do not have any armor on them, neither do his thighs, but maybe that uh, chest plate, it doesn't look like it comes off, uh, but, so I'm guessing he does not have the interchangeable armor system, but it does look like he's using the same articulation system, so his arms will probably be able to move all the way around and all of that, so will his hips and all, like, kind of like what we see in the, the Spartan figures nowadays, but uh, yeah, this figure looks really, really cool. I can't wait to see how this figure looks in the games. This is some major, major news for Halo 5. I mean, uh, this set is not just big in the toy world, it's big in the video game world, as this is like the first time we've seen a vehicle uh, in for Halo 5. Uh, we don't get too much news about Halo 5 uh, very often, so this is pretty big for that. Uh, this set just, uh, the set itself looks really, really nice. The vehicle, uh, is very original looking. It is kind of slanted forward. I'm guessing the cockpit is in the back there, uh, as it does look like it opens up. Uh, and there, it, it does look like there's another hatch in the front uh, of the slanted portion of the vehicle that does open up. So maybe we can uh, put two figures inside the vehicle, which would look really, really cool. We do get uh, some laser type sword type things, uh, I guess, uh, for uh, I'm guessing guns uh, for the vehicle on the sides uh, around the middle portion of the vehicle and up top on the front. Uh, but yeah, this vehicle does look really, really awesome. It would just be uh, great to have uh, some fight scenes in the skies with uh, using these vehicles. Maybe we'll see some more Promethean vehicles uh, later uh, because uh, Megavox did say that this is not uh, all the Halo 5 stuff. They will be showing more Halo 5 stuff later this uh, year, but it could not be released uh, at New York Toy Fair due to Halo 5, and they didn't want to release too much of the story and whatnot. But 
uh, yeah, this set just looks really, really cool. Hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more of these uh, Promethean vehicles because I'm super hyped about these. Um, the Spartan figure over here that we do see is nothing too special. I mean, he kind of is overshadowed by the entire set. Uh, we do get an orbital Spartan right here. Uh, using a DMR, I think he is, yeah, a DMR. Uh, but uh, the, the set itself looks really, really cool. I can't wait to uh, get my hands on this. This is a very uh, big set and very big news for uh, any Halo fan, uh, even if you don't collect the Halo Mega Box line. This is from pretty big news just for Halo fans in general. But uh, yeah, the set it looks really, really cool. Uh, can't wait to get my hands on it. And yeah, so there's my look at the Promethean vehicle for this wave. So for our next set here is a long, long awaited set and highly anticipated. We are finally getting our first UNSC Firebase. This one, uh, this set looks really, really cool. I really like how Mega Box did a, took, a, took their approach to this set. Uh, I kind of wish it was more of like a base with uh, walls going around all four sides, but uh, what they do give us here is pretty cool. It is a pretty large set and would have to be a lot larger to encompass all four sides of a Firebase, but nonetheless, this set does look really cool. Uh, from from uh, my view over here, uh, it does look like this is the back of the set, and that uh, this is like the inside of the firebase. And on the front, we'll have like turrets and stuff uh, on the front of the uh, on the front of the firebase. But other than that, uh, this set does look really cool. You do get two turrets, one very large one on the top, which I'm guessing is anti-aerial turret. Uh, we do have those uh, light up pieces from the Cobra that we saw a couple years back. Uh, they're being reintroduced into this set, so we, there will be a light up feature for this set as well. We do get another small anti-aerial turret or ground turret, uh, as it is a lot smaller on the other side. But the figures in the set are really, really cool. We do get to see a Spartan Scout in a, a dark, uh, kind of a light gray, uh, light bluish gray color which does look pretty cool, nothing too special, using a saw right there. Uh, then uh, for UNSC, we also see a marine in the dark uh, dark gray color, which I think is really cool, as we I do like to see more figures in uh, the dark color, uh, darker colors. Uh, then for the Covenant over here, we do get uh, two Covenant drones right here again uh, that were introduced uh, like last time in the Covenant uh, drone ambush. Uh, I have already reviewed that set, so if you guys want to uh, uh, see that set, please check out my review. But uh, yeah, we do get two more uh, Covenant drones. These two are a lot different. They're a lot more tacky, in my opinion. They kind uh, there's one in red and one in uh, green, both using uh, translucent blue for their wings. They do stand out quite a bit as they are pretty colorful. Uh, but it is really nice to see more and more drones. They were just introduced uh, last or uh, last wave actually uh, this year. But uh, they do have an interchangeable armor system of their own that uses uses mainly pin type uh, clips to attach onto their arms and legs, uh, as they are pretty frail looking and skinny. But uh, other than that, we do get another hunter, which is pretty cool as we haven't seen them in a little while. But uh, the hunter looks pretty pretty cool this wave. Uh, his shield is painted. Uh, over here with some silver accents, he's mainly in a dark bluish gray color, uh, and he does look really, really cool, kind of standing off against that marine right there. The marine doesn't really look like he stands a chance, but uh, the set, uh, the base itself does look really nice. Uh, we do have some fusion, uh, those cells right there uh, for more explosives, but <clears throat> pretty much other than that, this set just looks like it is a uh, set. It just has a bunch of uh, levels that you can add on to and stuff. And just have your figures posed all around it and make cool action scenes and whatnot with weapons uh, thrown all over the place. Uh, one thing I did want to point out on the sides right here, on the bottom uh, of each side of the set, there are two pin pieces with, uh, or two uh, 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 pin pieces sticking out of the set, which does, uh, to me, I think this uh, means that this uh, whole set can be uh, taken apart, it probably comes apart in different areas. I'm guessing this one whole area with uh, the main turret is one portion, then the, the other side with the uh, smaller tur turret is another portion, then the bridge area is another portion. I guess you could uh, swap that around, move it around different ways, or buy multiples of these set in, uh, sets and like uh, combine them, I guess, uh, which would actually be a really cool idea. I might actually try that myself now that I think about it, but uh, this set does look really cool uh, with that. It's nice that they gave us a feature to take apart the set and put it back together. But yeah, it, uh, we do get a lot of yellow ladder pieces, which is also really cool. I guess if you want to stock about those. And those uh, 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 metallic silver prism pieces, I, we get a ton of those. Uh, I think there's like 10 or something right here. But uh, this set is, looks pretty cool. It's long. It's been a long waited. I mean, we have been asking for a firebase for quite a while now. But uh, Mega Bloks has given it to us. This isn't too exciting. I think they could have done a lot better job. I was expecting more of a firebase where it was like uh, kind of a base with four sides around it, a lot larger, maybe a, uh, almost like a UCS set pretty much. But 
and with a lot more figures I was expecting quite a bit more figures we do get six here but I was expecting a lot uh, larger of a set it, it is a little bit disappointing I guess but Mega Boss did do a pretty good job on this one I, I got to give him a hand for that but uh, this set looks pretty cool and uh, yeah so there's my look at the Firebase And for sadly our final set this wave, this is the uh, Banshee that we're going to be seeing in Halo 5, I'm guessing, uh, because this does not look like the one in Halo 4, I'm guessing this one's going to be the one in Halo 5. This is a really great set to see, I mean, we're getting more aer aerial uh, fighter vehicles, this one does have a, a, another Storm Elite uh, in an interchangeable armor system. I would have liked to see the more the Orbital, Spar uh, Orbital Elite or the or Elite Pilot uh, in this set, because this one doesn't really make much sense, but uh, still, nonetheless, this figure does look really cool, he's in a a copper uh, type color right here or, bron or bronzish more uh, color right here but this figure does look really nice he's using a needler rifle right here uh, this the banshee itself does look really really cool uh, it looks pretty basic and simple uh, it does have some stickers on the top and on the front of the vehicle uh, I'm guessing this this actually looks like a new mold I had I think this is different from the last uh, banshee molds that we see for that curved uh, upper uh, upper part of the uh, ship but uh, yeah, I think this could be a new mold that we see in this set. Other than that, the sides look pretty cool. It's all brick built. It looks really nice. The uh, the front of the the front cannons. Uh, there are four uh, cannons right there. I guess they do look a lot different from the last one that we saw. The orbital uh, banshee, I think it was. Uh, these ones are a lot more stubby and a lot more pushed into the actual vehicle. Uh, these are the same uh, pieces that we saw on the ghost uh, from 2013. I think it was. Uh, those same pieces are being used right here, just being attached differently and in different ways to give the look of the Halo 5 uh, Banshee, I'm guessing this is. Uh, so, uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the uh, one that we see in Halo 5. I could be mistaken on that. If I am wrong, please let me know in the comments below. But uh, One thing I also wanted to point out, on the tail of the vehicle, uh, right at the back there, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but uh, that does look like the end of the old uh, energy sword that we had for quite a long time. Uh, except right now it looks like it's molded in a, not in a regular uh, purple plastic and being used as a tailpiece for this set which is actually looks pretty original in my opinion that's actually a, a great use of pieces there by Mega Bloks uh, but yeah this set looks really cool um, I'm guessing it's going to be around $20 hopefully it's even cheaper than that like around 18 or something but uh, it is nice to get more and more uh, these elites and covenant vehicles as I'm really excited for these uh, interchangeable armor elites these ones look really really cool and I can't wait to get my hands on them but yeah this is my this is a really cool set, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. But there's my look at the final set from uh, New York Toy Fair 2015. So now let's go ahead and conclude this analysis video. So guys, my final thoughts on this whole wave. Uh, this is going to be a really, really uh, cool wave. And the cool part is that this might not even be the full thing. We might may be uh, getting some more Halo 5 sets and some more others, uh, some other sets that we just haven't seen here that they couldn't show due to it being in Halo 5. And they didn't want their story being released and whatnot. Uh, because uh, Tim uh, sent a message uh, uh, quite a while back. I did make a video on that. But he did say that we will be seeing some Halo 5 sets in here. But uh, not all of them uh, due to the reasons of... Uh, the story being leaked and whatnot, and giving too much information about the story in Halo 5. So uh, they did not release all the Halo 5 sets. So that that could mean that we are getting more. I could be wrong on that. Maybe we aren't, we aren't getting any more. This could be our entire wave. But even if it, this is our entire wave, this is a really really nice wave. We were getting so many sets. Uh, some of these are a little bit disappointing. Some of them are kind of pointless, like the two fire teams right there and uh, the Cyclopses, which I'm kind of getting sick of. But other than that, they have introduced so much in this uh, wave. They've kind of given up. Uh, given a lot of uh, more info about the story in Halo 5 and what we can expect like we have a Promethean vehicle now that looks really really cool and we're seeing Promethean soldiers uh, more humanoid like soldiers that are different from the Pr different from the Promethean Knights so that is super cool and really big for any Halo fan uh, and we are seeing the elites in an interchangeable armor system now which is absolutely amazing uh, can't wait to see uh, more and more uh, Covenant figures and whatnot uh, moved into the the interchangeable armor system and hopefully by uh, we'll see we'll be seeing all our figures with the interchangeable armor system but yeah the the sets that we get here are really really cool uh, the uh, the few sets that I'm uh, probably most hyped about uh, are the uh, Gosshog that does have Master Chief and the Arbiter the Promethean vehicle both from Hill 5 uh, by the way the Promethean vehicle looks really cool because it is from Halo 5 and we don't too know too much about it and it just looks really original and I really like how it looks. Uh, also the Vulture just because that Agent Locke figure, that Agent Locke looks really really nice and uh, kind of an unexpected little uh, set but the the metallic, uh, the black metallic uh, ODST drop pod, I'm really hyped about that one too as ODSTs are my favorite and I do like the darker uh, uh, armor sets so that is uh, probably, those are probably my favorite sets from this wave. This, could, uh, this may be our 
Uh, this may not even be our entire wave, as I just mentioned. We could be getting some more sets. So, uh, But one thing I did want to point out from this picture that I am showing right now, uh, if you look on the back right there, there are the boxes for all these sets. So what I was mentioning about those fire teams earlier may not being finished. Uh, I'm guessing they are probably finished because they do even have the box arts and everything done for them. So hopefully I'm... Hopefully... Uh, Megapause does change this uh, and give us uh, some newer sets and whatnot because those sets are, are just rehashes of old sets that we've already seen. It's pretty lazy on Megabox's part, so hopefully that is not the case and they do change it. But these blocks, these boxes up top, as you can see, we uh, do see the fire team uh, Rhino uh, starting from the left, uh, going to the right on the top. We see fire team, uh, uh, not fire team, I'm sorry, fire team bull. Then we see fire. The pretty much the same thing as Fireteam Sierra, just in the Arctic uh, set. Fireteam Rhino. We see the new Forerunner Fireteam, which looks really cool. Uh, we see uh, Char uh, the Charlie uh, Mystery Pack series, which looks really nice. The Metallic ODST Drop Pods. Uh, and then up top over there, we get to see more of the customization packs, how, pa how their boxes look, which are pretty basic, just in that uh, translucent packaging, just showing everything that you get in the set. We do see the box for all, all, these side all the Cyclopses and the booster frame right there. Uh, at the bottom, you can kind of see the boxes for the Vulture and the Firebase, which look extremely, extremely large from uh, what I can see here. It is uh, almost like twice the size of the box of the booster frame, which is not too small itself. But uh, yeah, so those uh, there, there's a look at some of the boxes of the, uh, the sets from this wave. But yeah, so yeah, that is my opinion on this entire wave. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I, I know I probably messed up a lot of things that I said in this video, as I am kind of going through a lot of sets really fast uh, if I mess up a lot of the information and whatnot in the uh, in the video so if I did mess up anything please let me know in the comments below uh, but yeah so please uh, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments and uh, if you guys did enjoy this video please hit remember to hit that like button as it does go a really long way but uh, and if you guys aren't subscribed yet please uh, subscribe as I will be doing more analysis videos uh, later to come and I know I'm a little bit late on this analysis video. New York Toy Fair was uh, two weeks ago, but I did have some uh, uh, school tests and uh, assignments and stuff for school, so I had to take care of that first, and I was not able to record this video as soon, which I am pretty sorry for you guys, but uh, I am doing it now, and I'm going to get it up as soon as possible. But yeah, so that there's my look at the entire wave, and if you guys liked, uh, enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. And yeah, so that's pretty much going to do it for me, guys. I'll see you guys next time, and peace. I'm <laughs> sorry.